Now we're ready to start building letters. So we already looked at the disputes tab, which has all of the items that you had flagged from the report or any ones that you had manually added that you want to dispute for this client. Now, depending on your business model, you may only be disputing, you know, five or six items per month, uh, or you could be doing, you know, all of them at once. But either way, um, we're going to start with this grid so you can kind of understand what we're looking at. Uh, the first thing I want to point out is that anytime you see this, where it says needs an address, that means the creditor, when it was imported, did not come with an address on the report. This happens a lot, okay? Um, we can only pull the data that is available. So in this instance, before you can actually build letters, of course, they need an address that we're going to send it to, right? So if you just hit the little plus sign right there, you can look it up on Google, find the address for it. And then we've included um, a time-saving tool here. So as you start adding the address, it's going to suggest it for you and it will fill in the rest. Um, so as you're doing a lot of these, you know, it's going to help you out with a little bit of time savings. And uh, as you add all these addresses into the platform, once again, it's going to save uh, to your specific account. So over time, you know, as those ones come up again with other clients, the address will already be in the system and it will preload it for you. All right, so once you have all the addresses done, uh, you'll be in good shape. If you're only doing five of them at a time for disputing, you know, only just fix the ones that you need to dispute for this round, you can always come back later and do the other ones the next time uh, you do some disputing for them. So at the top here, this is kind of how it works. So we're gonna pick a letter template. There'll be a full video on actual um, letter templates later. But let's just say we're going to pick, you know, um, investigation letter round one. OK, so now what it's going to do is um, take any items that you select in here and it's going to put it all into that one letter. So if we decided to do, um, you know, this one here for all three bureaus, that one there for all three bureaus, um, based on the selection, when we hit create letter, it's going to build a PDF uh, preview based on these items here that are gonna be put into that letter and they're gonna be put in as line items each, right? So it's gonna have, you know, the uh, name of the, uh, the item name, then we'll have the account number and then next to it we'll have your reason and your instruction. And we'll preview that here in a little bit, but just to give you an idea of what's coming up. Now there's a couple of other ways you can do this. So if you notice, there are a couple of other checkboxes dotted around here. So let's just say that we didn't select anything and we just wanted to do all uh, credit bureau ones, right? So it's gonna pre-select all the ones that um, are negative and you can uncheck them if you want to. And that would just include all of them, right? Um, but maybe you also just wanted to do creditors only and it will check all the ones that have addresses. So you notice here, this is the only one that does have an address and so now it's checked. And if these all had addresses, all of these would be checked as well. Um, so just make sure that you have those done. And you know, if you wanna do all, you can just select both of those or you can deselect everything and you can just do specifically Equifax, you know, so a lot of different ways that you can um, select the ones that we're going to include in this particular letter that we're doing. Now you could do multiple letters. Maybe you do five letters with letter, uh, five items into letter number one, and you go ahead and print them or whatever, and you can come back and just do another five items with letter number two. You know, it just depends how you want to do it. So in this example here, I'm just going to select, um, let's just pick a couple of them so we can see how it works. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll do one of the creditors here as well. All right, and then we're gonna use round one investigation letter and we're gonna hit create letter. All right, so what it's done now is it's taken the letter template that you chose and it's actually merged all the data into it. So you're basically previewing what the actual letter will look like. Now, um, in this demo account, I don't have a signature uploaded, so there would actually be the customer signature showing down here. And of course, I didn't add reasons and instructions for all the items, which is why there's nothing showing here. But if you notice here, that's the reason right there. And then this is the instruction right there. So as you're building these and you're adding all these notes to it, this is how it's going to display in that letter, right? So it's going to have the item name, the company name first, account number, reason, instruction. Now, while they're here like this, you can edit them. So if you see an extra space, you know, if you just want to back it up there, you can do that. Um, if you wanted to, you know, change the color on one of these, you could do that as well. There's some tools up here for you to do that. Um, but maybe you want to space it out a little bit. It just depends, you know, 
how you have your reasons typed out, if there's spacing or not. But it just gives you the opportunity to kind of fine-tune the letter. All right. Uh, maybe you want to have the ad, you know, zip code on the same line. Entirely up to you how you want to do it. Okay. Um, and if you notice up here, there's three tabs. So we selected three different um, letters. So this is for Experian. And that's showing for that one there. And this one here is for TransUnion. Okay. So that's for the three bureaus. Now, um, if you had uh, done a creditor that had an address, um, it would show up here as well. And you'd be able to preview that. Now, another interesting thing you can do here um, is you can actually change the letter on the fly. So maybe you were looking at this one and thought, mm, maybe I just need some different messaging on that. You could actually change it to a different one. And as you can see, the template just changed. The data is still there, uh, but the wording is now different. So you can actually do this on the fly as well. Um, well, the, one other thing I'd like to point out, if for some reason you need to include a screenshot of something, now, when you build letters and it's round one, you're going to have the ID docs that are automatically going to attach the letters. You don't have to insert them here. That'll happen on the next step. But if you had to insert maybe a screenshot of something, you could do that. So just create a space like this. And this little button here will allow you to insert an image. And what you do is you hit upload and you hit choose file. You pick it from your computer and then you hit send to server. And when you do that, it's going to bring you back to this screen. You'll see a URL right here and you can just click OK and it will insert that image right there and then you can resize it if you need to. All right. Um, let's see. So these are all the items that we had selected on the side. So it just gives you a quick preview of everything that was there. If you need to put any um, data in here, you can do that as well. Just put your cursor there, you know, and put the account number, as you can see right there, or date opened. You know, it'll place it right there. So you can add a little bit of extra data in here as well um, as you're going. And then once you're done with all of this, um, you can save letters as you go. Right now, there's three different uh, ones here. So you could save it, go to the next one, save it, or just hit save all and go straight to print. 